Today I'm coming to you with a cleaning hack uh, in your bathroom for your hair tools. And so you know how like your straighteners, especially your straightener, that's what I mainly do this on. Um, they get gunk on them. It's been a while since I've cleaned mine, uh, but you see that buildup, you get buildup on the plates as well. And so that's kind of hard to get off and you don't want to damage your tools. So what I use on mine is rubbing alcohol 70%. And so rubbing alcohol is a really good disinfectant as well as just a really good cleaner. So I grab a couple cotton balls. On one cotton ball, I will put a little bit of the alcohol on here. Okay, I don't want it to be soaked because I don't want that to get down in the crevice of my tool um, and I'll just take and rub that on here. Sometimes I'll rub it on with one and take another and then do scrub it with the other just so I'm not getting too much alcohol on the tool. Okay, and I'll do, I'll do both sides and it will help to remove that buildup that we have from our products. And then I'll just rub it off with the dry one and then the other side as well. Um, and then I will do this on the plates as well. Mine needs a little bit more, but I just want to show you that it is coming clean. And so you can take that and you can rub it on those plates then. Um, and just really put a little, you don't have to put too much force on there, but just kind of rub that on there really good. Again, you can go over it with a dry one and you can look to see if you need to get a new cotton, um, cotton ball with some more product on it um, to get the rest of that buildup off. Um, but you can see that it does a pretty, pretty good job. There's a little bit of a stain on mine. Um, I could probably clean that up some more, but just to show you that this does get that buildup off. The inside of mine are feeling much cleaner and looking much cleaner. I need to go over it like one more time, but that's something that you can do. It doesn't really harm your tools and you just want to make sure, like I said, not to get it like really saturated in those creases because uh, you don't want that down in there. But you can also use this, put it in a spray bottle, and if you have a lot of hairspray buildup on your counters, spray your counter, let it set for um, just a, a few seconds, and then go back out over it and just kind of um, take a cloth and scrub at it, and it will help get that buildup off the counter as well. You might try just an inconspicuous spot, but it's not harmed any of my surfaces um, in my house. Ours are kind of a creamy color. And so... It has worked in my household and I was in here cleaning my tool um, because I noticed this morning when I was using it, it was kind of dragging through my hair a little rough. So, might give it a try.